Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ryan at Primal Chiropractic and Primal Elite Fitness. And in today's video blog, we're gonna be discussing my preferred method for improving flexibility and mobility and how to easily maintain it. So I had a nice conversation with one of my patients the other day and they asked me how much time do I spend working on just strictly mobility and flexibility. And I told them, outside of my warm-up for my workouts, zero. And it kind of got them a little off guard. And one of the reasons why is a lot of the programming and the exercises that I do, not only are they working on core stability and strength and cardio, they are actually helping increase the range of motion in flexibility and mobility as long as you're focusing on it. So all too often, a lot of people get into these passive stretching techniques and routines. And do they work? They probably do work. However, there's no neurological connection between the brain and the body. So these routines are gonna have to be done nonstop, probably for the rest of their lives in order to maintain that range of motion. However, when we take the active approach, we turn all these muscles on, we got our core engaged, we're working the full range of motion. We don't have to necessarily work on pure flexibility and mobility routines because we're moving consistently and we're engaging these joints through the brain and neurological connection. I wanna give you some examples so it hopefully does make sense. So the passive approach to, let's say, stretching hamstrings is, you know, you're laying on your back, maybe you have a towel on your foot and you're cranking your leg up. Or you have somebody, a practitioner, cranking you into a stretch. Yes, it'll work. However, when it's time to actively engage those muscles through the range of motion, it's not going to be there. So a single leg deadlift. It's a difficult exercise if you haven't done it before, but you're going to get on a foot, soften the knee, and hinge until you start to feel a really nice tightness in the hamstrings. Some may feel it in the calf, depending on where you're more tight. And with every single rep, you're gonna just focus on getting a little bit deeper into the range of motion. And again, we have that brain-body connection. So now I can control myself through that full range of motion. It's not a passive technique. I'm not only able to strengthen the area, but I'm also releasing and stretching it to maintain this flexibility and mobility. Another thing that's very realistic is we're working on something called agonist and antagonistic muscle fibers. So typically as we move as humans, whenever we contract a certain muscle, the opposite group is typically turned off. So again, very realistic ways of doing this approach. Another example, let's say we wanna release the inner thigh, we can get into lateral lunges. So if you're tight, you're gonna to start to feel the inner thigh here. If you wanna improve that range of motion, just try to break through that barrier until you're really able to own that range of motion, release at the same time, and it has a great carryover to sports or any weekend activities. Another example for anyone that has tight shoulder flexion, you can work on an active approach where you can slide up a wall and really dig into it. And at the same time that I'm reaching up, I'm contracting the muscles to reach back into shoulder flexion as well. It's just not a passive hang there and stretch. So not only are we starting to release the lats, which are typically a big player in reducing shoulder flexion, but we're turning all these muscles on that are responsible for the movement as well. So there's a million examples I can give, but if you are tight in certain areas and you need help, we can help you with this active approach, which has really long lasting permanent results instead of passively cranking and stretching and having to do that for years and years and years. So if you guys have any questions, please let us know. But in my opinion, the active approach way superior than the passive approach for maintaining and improving flexibility and mobility.